Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some cozy day recipes, a really good banana bread recipe, and some green chili stew. So I'm just gonna jump right in, and I hope you guys enjoy. So this chocolate chip banana bread, this was my first time making this recipe. And usually if I make a recipe and it doesn't turn out good, I end up not sharing it. But this one turned out so, so, so good. I definitely wanted to share it on my channel and with you guys because I think it's really, really good. And I think if you try it, you're going to like it. So you can make it with or without the chocolate chips. But with the chocolate chips in there, it's really, really good. So I'm starting with dry ingredients. By the way, I found this recipe on Pinterest, so I'm going to link where I found it. I'm starting with dry ingredients and then for the wet ingredients I have earth balanced butter and then I have some brown sugar. I'm going to mix that in my KitchenAid or with a mixer, you can use a mixer and then a little bit of vanilla bean paste, which my husband and I get this really big bottle of vanilla bean paste on Amazon um, and we've been buying it for years. My husband bakes a ton so um, it's really, really good. I'll link where we buy ours. Um, and then yeah, I'm just gonna whisk that up and then I'm gonna slowly add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients oh but first sorry I forgot the bananas we had pretty we had bananas that were going bad and that's kind of what gave me the idea to make some type of banana bread and I wanted to do muffins since this recipe turned out so well I'll definitely make it again but also a good thing to make in bulk like for an event or for school um, it's kind of a really good win-win uh, recipe so slowly adding the dry to the wet and then I'm adding a little tiny bit of almond milk once I've completely added my dry ingredients and then I'm gonna add the chocolate chips and you're gonna have your batter, if you will. And it's gonna kind of be the consistency of cookie dough. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill my molds with um, this batter. Now I happen to have some pretty, these are silicone molds, which I really like because you can just pop out the muffins when they're finished. It's kind of cool because um, with my husband's career working in kitchens and then kind of bringing that to home, we have a lot of cool gadgets to mess around with, some of which, I am still learning and figuring out, but we actually met 15 years ago at culinary school, and I wasn't there long before I realized this was not my calling in life, but I do like to cook uh, meals that err on the side of being, you know, healthier options, but also quick and easy and delicious, and now that I'm a mom, I need that even more, and this is one of those recipes, so um, gooey on the inside, crispy on the outside, amazing flavor. So I'll link that below and you can test that out and hopefully you enjoy it. Another recipe that we have all the time, it's pretty much kind of one of our regulars, is green chili stew. Now my husband's from Albuquerque so he kind of brought that into my life with the hatch green chili stew. So we've literally had this chili stew dozens of times since we met and when we go visit his family they make it or when they come to visit us and it's delicious. I wanted to challenge myself to make a vegetarian version of it. Um, actually this one if you don't add cheese or sour cream it's it could be vegan as well. So I will have the recipes listed below but I'm starting first by broiling up some Anaheim chilies. I didn't have access to hatch chilies at the moment Moment, but I just picked up these from the grocery store and I broiled them till the front and the back were pretty much black um, and then I'm removing the skin taking out the inside and I'm gonna chop those up I already have a big pan that has garlic olive oil and onions that have kind of been going they're getting a little brown I added my canned tomatoes and my potatoes I'm gonna mix that up and again let that kind of brown ever so slightly before I add my vegetable stock I'm adding some white beans that have been soaked overnight and then I'm just gonna basically add a little bit of salt and pepper and let that simmer until it comes to a boil. And you want everything to just soften up. So you want the potatoes to be really soft and um, then you will have green chili stew. And you can either add cheese and tortilla chips or sour cream or whatever you want or keep it as is. And it is absolutely delicious, a little bit spicy, but perfect. I hope you guys try out one of these recipes and you enjoy them. I'm leaving a little message in the comments below and in the description so be sure to read that and thank you guys as always for watching my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.